It is about that time. Once again, we are less than 24 hours from update eight in Pet Simulator 99. And today we're gonna go over what things you guys should be buying right now before update comes so that you're ready for everything that this update entails. Besides going over the market, we also have a few leaks to go over that will impact how the market trades and how prices will be affected in the near future. So we'll go over that. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel as always. It helps me out so much more than you guys probably know. And if you want access to the best information on Pet Simulator 99 as well as daily giveaways, join my Discord. Link is down in the description below. It's absolutely free. Good community. No reason you shouldn't be in there. Let's get right into it though, because this update is coming up so fast. All right, you guys. So first we're gonna start off with some of the things that you should be buying pretty much before every update. Uh, these are things that usually just go up in price because of the activities that people are doing on the update day. And let's start off with the potions in that category. Pretty much all of the different kinds of potions are very important and end up going up in price on uh, update day. That's because people are actually grinding and need these potions for various things. For example, Lucky Eggs potions usually go up a lot because people are trying to get those better stat pets and be able to farm as much damage as quick as possible in the new update, as well as all of the brand new stat pets usually sell for a ton. So people buy these things up uh, like a ton right before the update or like right when the update comes out. So these are generally a good thing to stock up on as well as the coin potions because as you guys know to get through the various new stages that we're going to get in this update you need as much coins as possible. So going along with this too um, the cocktail potions usually go up quite a bit and I actually have been investing in some of these. So if you can find some of these for wrap, these are a good deal because when update day comes, people are going to want these because as you know, the cocktail gives you the best buffs in the game. The cocktails effects are better than all of these pretty much. And they're all in one potion. So people pretty much love these things. As you can see, the percentage that it helps the coins and egg luck specifically are higher than both the highest tier potions we have right now. But for the damage and uh, for the highest diamond tier potion, these are actually better than the cocktail for some reason. I'm not sure why they do that, but just important to note because these two potions are very important on update day. So that's why people like to pick up these cocktails because they do both of them, but better and in one potion. These are actually cheaper than the Lucky Egg 9 potions too. So I don't know why that is. I think you could probably sell these for at least 200k tomorrow, but we're going to have to wait and see on that. Now, another good investment for a totally different reason are these huge potions. So before every single update, we get a huge party that multiplies our odds for opening huge pets. And if you guys didn't know, Preston has buffed the huge hunter game pass in the past week and buffed it by like two and a half times what it was previously. So during this huge party that's going on uh, starting tonight at 12 a.m., these are probably going to be high in demand, so you could probably sell these for even more. But to be fair, the price of these are super expensive right now, 450k. So I'm not sure personally if I would go ahead and buy these because I'm not sure how much more they would be able to sell for. During the huge party, these do sell for a premium. And uh, they're usually super high in demand and there's not a lot in stock. So you could pretty much get away with selling these for a ton over the wrap value. Now, next on the list of important things to be purchasing before an update, these secret keys actually come super in handy for these types of updates because big games tend to add some of the new items into the loot pool for stuff you can get from the secret areas. So that's why these secret keys are super good for update day. Personally, I have stocked up on like 200 of these just in case that some of the new items that I want to get are in the secret area. So that's personally why I bought some of these. Obviously, it's not guaranteed that they put some of the new items or if we even have new items in those secret areas, but just a good thing in general to stock up on before the update. And in a similar fashion, the large and small gift bags are generally also a good thing to stock up on in case they do add some of the new items 
uh, into the game, into the loot pools that you can get from opening these. So personally, I have a bunch that I've just had from grinding and I bought some that I found for a good deal. So having these for update day gives you the potential to open those new items and be able to sell them for a premium right off the bat. It is also important to note that we have gotten a bunch of leaks in this new update that do indicate that there are going to be some use for the lesser tier items. For example, I'll have it on the screen here. The XP potion machine that we got leaked does say that it crafts them with items. So we're not sure what types of items you're going to be able to use to craft them. But I'm sure that some of those items might be in these large gift bags. So that's why I'm stocking up on a bunch of these just in case that is the case. Now another leak that I'll have on the screen here is the forge machine which says that you can forge items together to craft higher tier items. So that is just another reason why it's good to hold on to some of these or just hold on to all of the little items that you own because in this new update we might be able to use those to craft upper tier things that might be worth a lot. So just a, another thing to keep in mind. Hopefully we'll have some use for all of those thousands and thousands of lower tier potions and enchants that we have sitting around. Now, another important thing that a lot of people do end up stocking up on for the update are these pinatas because a lot of people have these for their rank quests. And of course, we're going to get at least two new ranks for this update. So it is important to have these just so you can continue your rank up grind. And if you really can't afford these or if you just think they're too expensive, the party boxes are a good alternative. Personally, I use a bunch of these on my alts. They are a pretty good deal because you have the chance at the pinata as well as these lucky blocks. So stocking up on some of these or just getting these if you want to fly through your rank quests is a good idea as well. Now, another thing I forgot to mention is that we did get some leaks indicating that we are going to have a new higher tier potion level, which would be pretty nice so we can upgrade these potions even higher. So that's another good reason why you should be stocked up on all of your potions so you can craft the new ones and potentially sell them on update day for a premium. Uh, same goes with the enchants. We did get some leaks about the tier 9 enchants, so stocking up on these to craft and upgrade your team as well as just flip on update day could be a good and lucrative idea for you guys. Now, I did end up talking about this earlier in the week, but up to this point, we have not gotten any new leaks for exclusive enchants, so it's pretty unlikely that we do see the boss lucky block and the super magnet enchant leave the exclusive shop this update. So it is probably not advisable for you guys to be investing in these quite yet, but we are pretty certain that the boss chest mimic is going to leave the exclusive shop as it does say it is your last chance to buy it. And as you guys know, this was in the exclusive shop last update, so it is a pretty high chance that this gets removed. But up to this point, we have no reason to believe that any of these three might be removed from the exclusive shop. We did get a leak about another ultimate called the Tsunami that's coming into the exclusive shop. So potentially this hidden treasure ultimate could be leaving the exclusive shop. But I doubt it. It's probably just going to be a new item that's in some sort of chest or some sort of mini game or something. Those are the facts that we know right now, and that's currently all we can really invest in. So investing in these is a big gamble at this point. And as for the boss chest mimic, I have been suggesting this as a good investment pretty much all week. I did warn you, however, that there could be a lot of these in circulation as it has been in the exclusive shop for a while. So people could have been buying a ton of these. So I'm not sure about the potential upside, but they have been increasing in price quite a bit recently. You're going to have to make your assessment on your own on whether or not you think this will keep going up from here. It is still likely that people will panic buy these after the update once they see it leaves the exclusive shop but it is pretty well known information that people believe this is leaving the exclusive shop so i think most of the people that actually want this enchant would have or are buying it right now that's pretty much all i can say for that at this point let me know down in the comment section below if you think buying these are still a good deal right now 
All I'm saying is that this could be a risky bet and you're going to have to make that assessment on your own whether or not you believe this is a good investment still. Just for reference, this is how much the Boss Chest Mimic has gone up in price over the past week. So just pretty much 24 hours ago, it was sitting at 210 million. Now it is almost 260 million and this price is rising rather quickly. So that is just the reason why I would advise you to be careful and don't go ahead and panic buy. Only buy if you think it is a good investment. Over the long term, this should go up no matter what, but we are going to have to wait and see. Now, another potential good investment that you guys could be making are these charm stones. And this is because of a leak that I'll have on the screen here. Not really a leak, but more of a hint by one of the developers telling us that there are going to be some uses for those leftover charms that we have. So basically, there could be a machine that we're getting in this update that allows us to use those leftover charms to craft things. So this could be like that XP potion machine that we were talking about, or it could be the forge machine that says you can forge better items. So maybe we can turn these exotic charms into a divine charm, and then maybe turn the divine charms into a superior charm, and then maybe turn all of these superior charms into celestial charms, which would be pretty crazy. Obviously, that is just a theory. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying that is the reason why these charm stones have risen in price so much already. Obviously, investing in these charm stones is a gamble because we do not know what use these extra charms are going to have. Or even if this is going to be in the new update, the developer didn't even hint in that tweet if it's coming in this update. We could just infer with the various leaks that we got from big games themselves plus this tweet that there are going to be some useful applications for these charms. And that's why these charm stones are selling a little higher than they were in the previous few weeks. Personally, I'm investing pretty big in them. As you can see, I have 9,000 of them, but by the time the update comes out, I will have 10,000 of these because I am planning to do a 10,000 charm opening and just seeing what I get. And hopefully those extra crappy charms actually have some use in this update. If not, this investment is going down the drain, but we'll do it for the content. If you're feeling risky, this might be a good investment or just something to hold on to if you are grinding and already have a bunch of these saved up. Probably just wait until the update comes out just to see if they are worth holding on to or not. Another good potential investment that you guys could do are buying one of these diamond shovels because a lot of people are speculating that we will see a dig site mastery uh, coming in this new update. So if that does come, it is likely that we would see the prices of these shovels increase as people want to level up their mastery and just have the best tool for doing it. When the fishing mastery came out, we did see a big rise in the price of these diamond fishing rods. So that just shows that the diamond shovel investment would be good if we do get this mastery system put in this new update. I don't think I've seen any leaks about the mastery coming in this update. So obviously this is another risk, but just something I thought I should let you guys know about and make that choice for yourselves. And finally, four investments to make before update eight. This is a potential one as the exclusive superhero egg could potentially leave the exclusive shop. Again, this is another one of those things where we're not entirely sure we don't know what Big Games has planned, but they could put a new exclusive egg in the shop, which would make the prices of these current exclusive eggs that are about to disappear go up. And the most recent exclusive eggs that we had that were previously in the shop are all sitting around 30 million. So that's around 10 million diamonds more than these currently. So these are super cheap. I would advise you guys to be extremely careful right now with investing in any exclusive eggs because as you guys know, we are getting an event with this new update that gives you an exclusive egg for each rank that you have in the game. So as you can see on my trading account here, I am rank 19. So that means I'm going to get 19 free exclusive eggs. And a lot of people have accounts with high levels that are going to be getting a ton of exclusive eggs. So all of the eggs entering the market will most likely lower the prices of the more common exclusive eggs that we have seen recently. So personally, I would not hold on to these superhero eggs quite yet. 
I'll also have on the screen here, this is a new leak that we got today about a new event that's going to be in the update that gives even more exclusive eggs. Basically what this event is, is just a giant egg that you find somewhere on the map that's going to allow you to break it and get even more exclusive eggs. So we're going to have to wait and see how good this is. I hope this is not another thing that hackers are able to exploit and get a ton of free exclusive eggs. So we'll have to wait and see if they are able to stop that or just how good this event will be in general. One last investment I almost forgot to talk about are these hoverboards. So as you guys know, we got these new shiny hoverboards in update 7. So we could potentially see new hoverboards be put into Pet Simulator 99, which would make these unobtainable. Uh, so these could potentially be a good investment. If you want to invest in a shiny toilet or a shiny hologram hoverboard, that could potentially be an investment for you guys. I did see some leaks for some new hoverboards, so that's the only reason I mentioned this as a potential good investment. That is pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And let me know down in the comments below what you guys are investing in before this big update tomorrow. I'm super excited to see all of these new things and see what the new meta is for this update. Thank you guys once again, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.